Okay, so here we have a few of the options we've got for driver ID now. So we have our standard RFID reader which we supply and the key fobs for use with the G120 or the Dart. And on the harness, this little four-way plug plugs straight into this little four-way plug. That's all pretty straightforward and it's going to work. But as far as some other options goes, uh, we've got a Wigan interface on the G120. This is an access card, I've just covered it up so I don't show the person's identity off a, off a uh, work site where there's a lot of different drivers on that site. I think they've got around 2,000 staff and having to go and give every single one one of these and manage that when they've already got site cards is a bit of a pain. So this is an HID card. All we need here is an HID reader which outputs Weekend. Okay, so you can, you know, Google your card format and Weekend. Uh, as the output and I've hooked this up just to the harness so I've just lopped that plug off I'd do a bit of a cleaner job if I was actually installing it and that works there okay one other feature that uh, all our devices that do driver ID have is uh, they have the option to sound a buzzer and there's an internal buzzer on the G120 where you can wire one up to other devices when you don't scan a G120 uh, we're sorry when you don't scan a driver ID uh, and Equally, uh, when this buzzer is sounding, the vehicle would be immobilized if you want to set it up like that, and then it would be able to start once the, the authorized ID is driven. So, if we simulate this going into a trip with the ignition active, so the device is beeping at us, okay, and the vehicle wouldn't be able to start right now. Okay, now we're off and running and we've started, uh, so no one's going to forget to scan their ID and Whoever shouldn't be driving their vehicles won't be able to drive. So another driver ID solution we've integrated over the Wigan interface is this keypad. Uh, there's a link to it on our support page if you want to grab one. Uh, it's a good price and it's IP65 rated. It's completely potted inside. So it's going to be pretty waterproof and dustproof. Uh, and it's a good form factor, nice and lightweight. And the benefit of having the full 10 digits is you could use your license number or something like that. Uh, and so, yeah, it's pretty easy. That's how you put a code in, just hash is enter. And it's going to work the same as the other options in terms of having the device buzz at you. Having the device buzz at you and then You can shut it up by putting your driver ID in.